Hey YouTube, well today I'm really excited to show you guys this 2013 Lexus LS460 um, which is the flagship Lexus sedan and this particular generation came out in 2006 as a 2007 model year and was refreshed here for 2013 so that's what you're looking at here. Uh, this particular one is for sale here at Five Star Ford and Warner Robins um, but it's actually purchased from auction from Westside Lexus in Houston, Texas as a uh, L certified vehicle. Um, so I don't know if they couldn't sell it there and they just put it on auction or couldn't get what they wanted for it. Uh, but anyways, this is a very attractive sedan. Uh, they don't sell these in very high numbers just because it is an older design. Um, but an LS is an LS and the little details are what sets it apart from the rest. Um, and so Lexus buyers will be loyal. Um, but coming to the front, the uh, 2013 model year brought this spindle grille to the front, which I think adds a very, very nice touch um, to the LS. Coming off to the side here, this one actually has 19 inch wheels, which I have not seen this design or I don't re remember the design uh, here on for these wheels. I think it's a very nice looking wheel. This one's on Michelin tires here. Uh, and you've got this pretty silver color, which um, contrasts well. It's kind of an understated color that looks very good. Uh, and then you have your LED accented headlights. As you can see there, very attractive headlight design. You get your um, headlight washers there and some fogs down below with your front parking sensors. Uh, this one's kind of dirty it needs to go through cleanup uh, it looks like but just your typical spindle grill there still looks fresh and modern doesn't look like it's aged too poorly there chrome accenting all the way around the side here and this is where you can kind of tell the uh, older lexus design cues such as uh, these black door handle buttons which is what i have on my car uh, but as you can see the windows are tinted pinstriping here down the side with your blind spot monitoring um, Typical LS stuff here on the side. Up on top you have a standard power sunroof and uh, shark fin antenna. Excuse me. Uh, looking at the rear here. Got this little tiny third brake light there. This particular one has a power trunk so we'll pop that here. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And we'll look at the rear um, trunk. So as you can see it powers up and powers down. Uh, of course, it's felt lined and executed very, very well. If you look under the carpeting here, which is very plush, um, you have a full size 19 inch alloy there with all of the uh, trimmings. As you can see, Northside Lexus L certified, and you have a little ski pass through there. Uh, but this one's kind of dirty, as you can see. Like I mentioned, probably needs to get the cleanup once more. Got your rear parking sensors, though, and some uh, dual outlet exhaust. Just a little dirty. Looking at the rear seat here, I don't believe this one's an LS 460L. No, it's just a 460. Uh, but as you can see, the, I mean, the rear legroom is, I mean, incredible. Um, you can get more, obviously, if you get an LS 460L. But the comfort back here is, I mean, it's insane. Uh, of course, you have leather padded uh, door pillars here with your air vents. If you look at the door panel here, I mean, it's executed in the highest fashion as you would expect from the flagship Lexus with your wood grain trim, chrome door handles, uh, leather on the, or uh, excuse me, chrome with the uh, accent there on the door lock, a little storage compartment, uh, automatic um, window, and all this is just leather stitched uh, like you would expect with a little bit of storage and carpeting down below. Of course, you've got your map pockets up above here. You have your felted uh, and illuminated um, rear view um, excuse me, a vanity mirror, and you have your LED in, uh, interior spotlights uh, and the works like that. Of course, just the highest quality felt uh, headliner. Uh, down below, you have your power outlet and you have your air vents, uh, the ability to move the front passenger seat for more leg room. Uh, that's always been a classic Lexus LS feature. Um, then looking at the center here, you've got cup holders uh, and some rear storage and this very thickly padded um, and high quality armrest. And then you can flip up this rear little, uh, headrest there if you ever have somebody in the middle um, to their misfortune. But if we climb out of this gigantic back seat, which I don't know that I'd ever really want to do because it's so comfortable, and you look at the front, I mean, this is really the place you want to be. So, oh, I meant to show you. Let's go ahead and look at the um, power driver seat controls. As you can see, you have your headre headrest height adjustment, backrest adjustment, uh, four-way lumbar, power thigh extension, so all the adjustments you'd ever want. And then not to mention, if you look at your door panel here, you have your power um, seat belt 
height adjustment. So, I mean, really all, anything you'd want is powered. Uh, you've got your three-person memory seats, of course, all the padding uh, that you would ever ask for. And then off to the side here, you have your heated steering wheel, blind spot monitoring, uh, park assist, and if you open this up, a little uh, felt coin tray there, your automatic power folding mirrors. Um, and then this is a really nice touch that I like that they added for the 2013 model year. It's this wood steering wheel. I mean, have you ever seen so much wood on a steering wheel? I think it looks great. Of course, it's the power um, tilt and telescopic steering wheel. Um, but if we open that door back up, you can see this one has just over, well, 50,000 miles. And look at that little uh, display there. Of course, Lexus does a great job, in my opinion, with gauges. And so this is uh, no exception. They're all illuminated um, in the highest quality. Got your automatic automatic headlights over here, and your automatic wipers um, are off to the side there. Uh, with your brake hold feature, basically hit this. You can take your phone off the brake at the uh, red light, uh, and the car will stay there. You got your automatic parking brake, floor mounted gas pedal. Off to the side here, you've got your uh, padded center console here. Very thick controller for your eight-speed automatic. The LS was the first vehicle to offer an eight-speed automatic, and then you have your uh, two cup holders and 120 volt power outlet uh, and then you got your remote touch controller which was new for the 2013 model year um, down below here you have your sport a normal and uh, eco modes if you had an f sport you'd have a sport plus mode traction control off heated and cooled seats with an automatic mode and you have your rear um, power sunshade i mean just the way this uh, center console glides open and glides shut I mean, they they engineer everything so incredibly well, um, and this just kind of lifts up, so you can get down in there, uh, which is uh, your aux and USB inputs, and another 120 volt power outlet. And then off to the side here, you have leather padded stitched um, glove, glove box there, of course felt lined. Uh, your massive 12.3 inch LCD screen. Um, I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera there. And then you have your uh, climate control adjustment, which if the power was on, there's no key detected. It kind of rolls over, rolls over, rolls over. It's very well done. Your nice Lexus clock there, a garage home link, and overall just the finest materials um, up top. So I'm a big fan of the LS, and I think it would make a great used car. Um, I mean, you've got the space, the power, the 4.6 liter V8, uh, the refinement, the qualities there. And of course the reliability so uh, thank you guys for staying tuned through this uh, tour of the 2013 lexus ls 460 so uh, please be sure to uh, comment subscribe and uh, give me your thoughts on the ls thank you for watching